Mr. Mitch, school counselor at Ferndale High School, with a message from me and your school counselors. Um, just dropping in to share a little message about some of the emotions and the feelings you might be having and how to cope with them. So I hope this is helpful for you, um, and feel free always to reach out. In the last month, we've all had a pretty significant loss in our lives. The routine of going to school, of seeing our friends, of connecting with our family in different ways, to be able to go to the grocery store, all these different things. And that loss can create a lot of different emotions. So maybe you're feeling angry, mad, agitated, short-tempered. Maybe you're feeling anxious, feeling like panic. Maybe your mind is racing, wondering, how am I going to get through this? Maybe you're feeling depressed, sad, hopeless. Why should I work? Why should I care? Maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed and feeling frozen by that. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do my schoolwork online? How am I going to be able to stay connected with my friend? I want to tell you that all of those things, all of those emotions, are a normal reaction to an abnormal situation that we're in. So what do we do? How do we deal? Step one, acknowledge those feelings and share them with somebody. Somebody trusted, maybe a friend, a family member, a teacher, your school counselor. If no one's around, write it down. Step two, get out and get moving. Movement and exercise process feelings in your body. Being outside in nature brings the mind to the present. Step three, create routine. Routine around self-care, so getting adequate sleep, eight hours, fueling your body and your mind with healthy food and water, and getting moving. All those things will create healthy systems in your body. And create routine around time. Create personal time where you're drawing, writing, listening to music, watching a movie. Create routine around connecting with others, your family, your friends, whether that's in person or virtual, through video chat. Texting is good, but it doesn't quite create the same connection that seeing somebody does. And then also create routine around school time. Make it a routine from 11 to 2 every day you're doing your schoolwork. Whatever the routine is, set it up and do that daily. Thank you, Ferndale. Together, we've got this.